Okay, so welcome back. And I'm going to explain in this video how you can use balance with chemical equations using the matrix null method, which is part of the homework. You were given this assignment in workbook number two. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow what the example is given in the paper. Uh, there is a paper by Lawrence Horn, which is linked in the assignment. But I want to go over the example step by step so you can follow that. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing. And I'm going to give you this problem. The problem is balance the following chemical equation. We have here the chemical equation. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start uh, making a list of the molecules we have present. We have potassium iodide, um, potassium chlorate, okay. um, hydrochloric acid, uh, iodide, water, and KCl, potassium chloride. Okay. And then we are going to count, because we're going to this matrix, having here the uh, molecule, how many of each atom each of them have. Potassium, how many parts? Well, we have one here, one here, one here. Iodine, one, one, two, and so on. So I'm going to want to go step by step. So once you do so, I'm going to ask you, okay, this is already your matrix. So I'm going to make it. Step one, make the composition matrix. So, so see the composition matrix are these numbers, which are counting how many atoms are of each species, making this nice table. Okay, that's step one. Now we notice here that this is a rectangular matrix, meaning it has five rows and six columns. And as always advised, please write the dimension of the matrix, and I call that N. Really helpful. Now here comes the next part. The next part is the uh, the one that gives the I call it the method, which is uh, determine determine the nullity of the matrix. The nullity of the matrix. Is going to be found by making this operation number of species minus the rank of the matrix. Okay, number of species we already know there are six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So for doing this step, we need to find the rank of the matrix. How do we find the rank of the matrix? And here, the rank of the matrix is found uh, by finding the largest square submatrix that has a non zero determinant. So we are going to start making a calculation of the determinants of subsections of this matrix until we found which is the largest possible size that still has a non-zero determinant. So let me, let me tell you how this works. Say I have this matrix. So this is six, six, six by six, six by six matrix. I can count, for example, uh, I can easily make a two by two matrix out of it, right? two by two matrix. And I can calculate the determinant of these two by two matrix. Let's say uh, the determinant of this is a uh, mass determinant of this two by two. Thank you. Okay, that works, right? So two by two works. Two by two. Let's keep going. Let's look at when we want to what we want to find the largest possible subsquare matrix that still has no zero determinant. So let's try now this three by three. Okay, so let's, I'm going to try this three by three. Three by three. And the determinant is now a determinant of this three by three. Okay, three by three doesn't work, but we need to keep going because remember we need to find what which one is the largest possible that still works. Let's do four by four. Okay, this does it. Let's see four by four. Four by four, now I'm going to choose this four by four. Let me change the color. Let's call it here. Four by four, right? So the determinant equals mass determinant of now this four by four. And that works. Okay, we're going doing good. Four by four works. And finally, uh, our last ten should be a five by five. Five by five. Determinant. Now five by five will be about this. It will be a five by five submatrix. 
and of these five by five. And again, it works. So what we think, we found the rank in rank equals five. Right? Remember, this is the largest sub square matrix sub square sub matrix that has a non-zero determinant, so rank is five. Okay, because rank is five, now we can cal calculate the nullity, which is using this equation. Number of species, we said those are six, remember from the uh, balance from the equation, we have six species minus five the rank, so we have nullity is one. Because of that, we need to add one row. So that's what we're going to do. Add one row. Add one row. Add one row. So step three is build the augmented matrix. Okay. Step three is build the augmented matrix. So we're going to start with our, our original matrix. Of course, this is the original matrix. And we are going to add one row. And that row will be 0, 0, 0, 0, and a 1. Okay. Okay. This is adding all zeros in, in one in the diagonal. So this is a 1. So what I now have is an augmented matrix, which is a square 1 with dimensions 6 by 6. This is now augmented matrix 6 by 6. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Let's go to step number 4. We are going to invert this augmented matrix. So I'm going to calculate the inverse of that matrix, of that augmented matrix we have here. I'm going to say it's a six by six. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, okay, six. This is six by six. Now, equals inverse of the augmented matrix, which is a six by six. Control chip, enter. And of course, I did something wrong. We'll see why I did something wrong. I think I didn't choose the correct. Okay. Right with me. This is six by six. So it's a equals. Math inverse of this matrix. Okay. And I'm not going to copy this to a six by six. Three, four, five, six, two, four, five, six. Okay. F2, control shift, enter. Okay, now that's the inverse matrix. We are going to look now at the last column because that will be our null space vector. See how I highlighted? So step number five, transpose this last column, null space vector, equals transpose of this, which is flipping that, You know, I need to do control shift. Doesn't work to need control shift enter. Okay, control shift enter. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. F2, control shift enter. So what I did was transpose this. So almost there, almost there. Now, step number six, we are going to divide by the smallest of these numbers, which happens to be this. This is the smallest numbers is a uh, minus 0.14286. So my new scale, space, null space vector will be equals this divided by the smallest number, control sheet enter. Okay, then up to six columns. One, two, okay, two, three, four, five, six. Right, six. Two, control chip, enter. One more, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I know what I did because when I was dividing here, 
Let's do okay, first select F2, control shift enter. Okay. Now I'm going to divide this. Okay. Equals this divided by the smallest one. Enter. Okay. So six rows, F2, control shift enter. Got it. Believe it though, we all we finish because these are the coefficients. This documentary coefficients. We're going to take the absolute values of this. So our balance equation is going to be this is our balance equation. Okay. I know this is a series of steps. Uh, these steps you can get by reading the paper, of course. But well, I want to give you a live example of this. And uh, let's do recap. We start from the equation and we make this composition matrix. Number of molecules and the atoms that I made these molecules. So we count the number of atoms and we make the composition matrix, which happens to be in this case a five times six, five rows, six columns. Step number two, find the nullity of the matrix which is given by this equation, number of species minus rank of the matrix. The matrix, the matrix. And we found the rank by finding the largest square sub matrix that has a non zero determinant. So here we start calculating different sub uh, square matrices. And we found the largest is a uh, five. So the rank of the matrix is five. Calculate the nullity, six minus five is one. So we add one row. So we added this row. This is the row we added. All zeros except the one that is the last one. Now we do the inversion of this matrix. Inversion of this matrix with the inverse function. And I highlighted the last column, which does the called the null space vector. Transpose this. This is the transpose. Divide by the smallest number, which is this number, and those are the coefficients. If after dividing, you still don't have integers, you can then multiply by factors, such at the end, you have integers. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. And I'm going to have this video for you, so you can uh, apply this same uh, methodology for your workbook too. For the homework in your workbook too. Thank you.